Hi, uh, this is uh, Dr. Jasinski, and I'm going to talk about what you have to do this week uh, in ENT 210. Uh, we're going to start reading. Uh, this week is all about getting you ready to have your elevator pitch, uh, which is 25% of your grade. So this is an important week. Uh, what I'd like you to do um, is start reading uh, in the textbook, uh, Business Model Generation. It's not only going to give you an idea of the business model canvas, which I talked about in the um, earlier presentation um, about the overview of entrepreneurship, but it also will get you some depth about uh, what you need to do to answer the questions uh, for the uh, elevator pitch. Uh, if you're having trouble uh, coming up with a business idea, I've given you some resources. There's an article called The Big Idea, which was in this month's issue of Entrepreneur uh, Magazine. I've also found a couple other articles for you uh, about ideas and you might want to get some inspiration from going to QStart uh, where, where you got ideas uh, that your other students uh, have generated. Um, so all those you can use uh, to help you come up with ideas. Uh, try to do that. You know, uh, this is the holiday week so you, know, you can have it till tomorrow night to, to obviously uh, get the readings done. But in any event, uh, then also go to two magazines, FastCompany.com and Entrepreneur.com and after you do that, uh, post a paragraph uh, that describes your business idea, uh, the target market you think, and again, you can get this out of the, the textbook. And give me a, a sense of the article that you found when you were browsing those uh, that came up with your inspiration. And you post that to our discussion forum free called Business Idea. Now, you're not limited to just one business concept. So you might have already had an idea that you were noodling around uh, before you came into the class, or you've been inspired by something else. Feel free. You do need to do one from Fast Company or Entrepreneur.com. So everybody needs to do one uh, from, from those magazines uh, with a link to an article that, that they gave you some inspiration. So that's really your new free form idea that everybody has to come up with. But if you already have an existing idea or have inspiration from something else, feel free to, to post a second one. So you can post more than one, but everyone has to do at least one uh, from the Entrepreneur.com or FastCompany.com uh, magazine. Uh, and try to have that um, uh, posted by tomorrow night, uh, Tuesday, uh, at 8 o'clock. Okay, hold on one second, and I'll resize the screen here. Okay, so uh, by tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, Tuesday at 8, uh, you need to post one or more of your business concepts discussion forum three. And here's where the power of having read all your other student profiles comes in. So. Hopefully we've established some sense of community in the class. That's why I had you do the student profiles the way that you did it, so you get to know each other a little bit more. So what I want you to do is make sure that you post um, uh, a constructive uh, comment um, to each one of the, the other folks uh, in the class. So there's, I think, 19 people left now uh, in the class. So that's uh, 18 uh, people's business concepts, one paragraph each that you read, and post a subject line. Now make sure you change the subject line, so don't have it just be Ray, their idea, otherwise it's kind of hard to know what people are saying. So change the subject line, you have to go back up in there, delete the, the Ray, and change it to whatever it is. So if you were coming up with a new customer segment, for example, as I've got in this document, then you would change the, the subject line to new customer segment. Okay, so that's you need to do that by Wednesday night at 8 o'clock then you'll read the comments you got and you'll think about them and then on Thursday if you did post more than one or you only posted one you'll incorporate the comments you got into a new uh, posting so that's in discussion form th four. The discussion form three is your first concept or concepts uh, discussion four is where you're going to post your revised uh, concept okay uh, so this way you're getting help from other people in the class if you're tr having trouble trying to figure out how many customers there might be, so you've defined who your segment is, go to a website called InfoUSA.com. It's free. I would use a Gmail or some other uh, email because you have to sign up for it. And if you don't want to get spammed to your normal email account, uh, use a different one. But in any event, it's free. You don't have to pay for anything to get the, the sizing of the, of the uh, stuff. Uh, uh, market size. Okay, so by Thursday at 8, you posted a revised concept based on the feedback you got from other students. And then on Friday, by 8 o'clock, um, you're going to have read all the revised uh, concepts and again post uh, some, some comments to them. Um, and then over the weekend, go ahead and send me uh, a plan for your entrepreneurial interview and independent project. 
So hold on one second and I'll go over to those uh, documents. Okay, so now I'm back in the syllabus for this class and I'm in the entrepreneurial interview assignment. Um, and so I want to make sure that you haven't forgotten about that. So go ahead, read through that, and by the end of the week, give me the name of the person that you're going to be interviewing. If you need help, uh, send me an email earlier during the week saying you really desperately need help finding somebody. Ideally, you're going to do the interview in person, but if that's not possible and, you, and you've got somebody in mind that you need to do by phone, uh, that's fine. I think Skype would be better, or at least you could see the person. Remember, I want to see media in the presentation, so just like your student profiles, I want to see pictures, so try to get pictures. Again, they don't have to be or new pictures. You could be using things off uh, the web. So you need to be doing that. The other thing you need to be getting started on is defining out what it is that you're going to do for your independent project. So that's down here in the syllabus. Um, a lot of people will choose to write up the business model canvas for their idea, so you might want to wait and see if your brain part uh, is something you really want to pursue. Uh, otherwise, you can watch uh, some movies. You know, the rule of thumb here that I'm looking for is that you're going to spend, you know, a good chunk of time on this because this is your own uh, thing. So, um, ideally, you know, it's about 12 hours. Uh, so, if you're going to watch episodes of Shark Tank, that's probably, you know, 10 to 11 episodes of Shark Tank. 12 hours is probably four uh, or five movies at least. So. And that's about work I want you to put into it. Um, so think about that. If you've got any questions about your independent project, again, email me uh, before the week is out. And I'd be glad to take a look at um, what you've got going on. And then let's go back here to the week two uh, assignments. And one last thing that I want you to, to focus in on is by the end of the week, you're going to... So by the end of the week, you send me your email with your plan of completion for your interview and your independent project, and do the 321. And be detailed in the 321. I'm going to give you some slack for the first week, but don't just say, I learned about QU alumni entrepreneurs. Drill deeper than that. Throw me a bone and say, okay, I actually learned something more about Carrot Creative. And what I learned about Carrot Creative was that blah, 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 blah. Okay, so uh, this should be, you know, um, the, the 321. The three things you learn should be a paragraph uh, where you've got, you know, a couple of sentences about each of the things that you've learned. At least two sentences about each of the three things you learned, so that's six sentences total. Uh, the two things that were interesting to you, again, should be a paragraph. And the one question that you have, uh, either about the course or from the assignments, um, would be, be great. So that's just a couple of sentences uh, there, too. Okay, so I hope this helps. Again, anytime, give me a call at 203-313-4152 or send me a text. Good luck.